Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay guys, I want to show you my homemade tow jacks that I made specifically for raising and lowering shipping containers. Now I've got uh, some large, heavy, insulated, refrigerated shipping containers that weigh about 10,000 pounds each that I've got to raise up 30 or 32 inches in the air and put them on my uh, bogey trailer and, and they've got to be moved. But um, I built these mainly to, uh, to save me two things. Well, number one is save time. Now, I don't know if any of y'all tried to, you know, jack a shipping container, you know, 30 inches up in the air with a little six inch bottle jack. It is very time consuming. And the second reason I built them is to uh, save me a crap ton load of elbow grease. Okay, <laughs> like I said, it's very uh, laborious. So um, this is just a proof of concept. So let me, um, which I've already proved it, it does work, but uh, let me just uh, go through, um, show you how I set it up, and it, uh, it works off of uh, air, because these are air over hydraulic ramps that I got from Harbor Freight, and you can see, I'll show you how I relocated everything, and I got this air hose. Okay, this is my uh, compressor I'm using to run it and this is one thing I like is I can use compressed air instead of using my arms and my back to uh, raise those things up in the air. Okay another feature I like about these um, toe jacks is I've got a onboard air compressor and that makes it mobile so I can throw those toe jacks and those rams in my truck and I can go lift shipping containers anywhere uh, also, um, the way they're constructed, they can also lift up some other stuff too, which uh, I'll do a future video on that. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an up-close and personal look at these tow jacks. These were made out of a drop I got from Tampa Bay Steel. It was 24 by 24 by half. I guess a half inch is probably a little overkill, but I wanted it substantially built. I didn't want these things bending or coming apart on me. Um, this is the newer ram that I've got. This gives me about an 18 inch stroke or so. This is the older one I've got here. And what I did is the old hose that went from here to the controller is actually that hose right there that I made the manifold assembly out of. And I put these 25 foot hoses on here so I can get back away from the container. Um, ever since I had that one fall on me, I've been a little leery of being, being up around them. So, Anyway guys, that's basically the overview, um, not too much to it. These are about 24 inches from here to there, and this ram fits in there. So, okay, well, that's what we got. I, I wanted to add that one of these rams placed in the center, uh, this, this is the back half here, and this fits in that thing right there you lay it on its side and then stand it up and it locks it in there but uh, one of these on the edge of the container <laughs> eight tons of force is going to pick it up I went with two that way I could level it you know if I needed to pick the left side up or the right side I had that option and I have the two controllers right here all right well let's see if we can uh, make it happen we just have to test it in action here Well, there's one.
That one on the left is raising the whole the whole thing. I need to counterbalance it. Let this side down. Let this side down. All right, well, there we have it. Let's uh, let's try the other end and see if we can pick it up over there as easily. You notice there's like a little water down in there, and that's because those little holes were loaded with uh, rock and clay, and I had to blast it out with the water hose. So, try and give you a better little better little perspective of how this thing goes in here. pretty much locked in there so it's not going to come out well I hope it doesn't come out okay well let's get the ram put in there and get this side jacked up as well Okay, I don't know how much of that y'all got, but uh, all I need to do is cinch them up. They're just in there loose right now, so let's uh, let's tighten them up. go. Let me get some blocks, put those under there, and we'll be good to go. Okay, we have success. This was a uh, proof of concept. 
and was able to lift the containers with relative ease. There are a couple modifications. I'll go over here in just a minute, but uh, it definitely did the job. Got the container off the ground. I don't have it real high up in the air, but just enough off the ground where it's not going to rot the bottom of it. And if need be, I can always raise it up some more. So, okay, well let's uh, let's talk about the uh, the things that need improvement on these toe jacks. Well, I've extolled some of the virtues of these things. Uh, let's, and we did prove the concept. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the negative side of them. One, one of the negatives is they're heavy and they're clunky. And I guess it could have been made out of a thinner steel, but I've got some heavy lifting I'm doing, and I felt more confident using half inch. The uh, rams are a little heavy and clunky too. Uh, aside from that, one thing I really don't like here is. Those boards down there have a tendency to want to turn in, especially on the soft ground where I had to wet it down to clean those holes out. You can see where that one turned in. Now, it did hold, but I'm thinking that probably I need to make a better pad for those uh, ramps to sit on, you know, maybe um, a one foot by one foot by half inch, something like that. And I can just set that on top of that and set that down, and then that's not going to bend or go anywhere. Uh, also, these things, when you put them in here, I don't know if you notice, they have a tendency they want to kind of fall out. You need like three hands. So I guess a loop or something, something to hold that in there. Uh, if I had something to hold this up here like a really strong magnet, that would be uh, beneficial too. So just a, a couple afterthoughts here. If, uh, if y'all have any, uh, any ideas or any, uh, any thing you could add to this, it would be appreciated. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Homestead Prepper out.